I don't know if that's how you say it, but it uh, it definitely sounds like Uru Brandon. Yeah, Brandon. Brandon. I feel like I'm saying it wrong when I say it that way, but I think you're right. <laughs> it is Brandon. He definitely would be smirking if you heard us saying that. I can tell you that much. Either <laughs> way, <laughs> Juggernog. That's a good one. That's that's kind of seasonal. Yeah, we're it's almost a little there. early, but I mean, hey, Starbucks rolls out the pumpkin spice as soon as September hits. So, I was in a store the other day, and they already had the Christmas stuff out. I no, I'm a out them. It was Costco. Costco had the Christmas stuff out. What are you doing? It's they're, not even Halloween. They're actually going Ken versus Ryu. Okay. I respect it. It's thematic. This is the uh, this is the Shoto event, from what I have been told. Yeah, this is it's kind of like a callback to the 2GG sagas that they would do. I was talking to my carpool about this on the way over here. Like, those events from 2GG were such a an awesome thing to have in the community. It's so sad that we're not able to have those anymore. But I'm shout out to people like Everest Two, Wolfric one, holding it down and go. giving us at least a taste at the regional level it's of what serious. those things could be. <laughs> hey, let's go! The fist bump. Here we go. All right, Brandon kicking it off with a uh, Shoka hits. That name. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, three hits, 55%. Goodness gracious. I love the audio design of these characters. It's I feel like that's not it? talked about enough. The combination of that and the square hitboxes. Granted, Smash is not a place where you need to be implementing square hitboxes, <laughs> but it's still very cool and thematic. Sakurai always hits with making sure that the characters are true to their original game. Kind of scary there. Agreed. I also love the unique parry sounds that they make when they uh, yeah. get that perfect shield. It's so satisfying. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Street Fighter VI doesn't even have those sounds. <laughs> That's going to be a stock there as that F-Tilt, F-Tilt Shoryu kills Ryu off the top. Nice Shokunets there. Good 20%. That uh, that projectile so very powerful. Oh, Brandon's pushed him into the corner. He's really just trying to get stage control here, recognizing he's down a stock, but that doesn't mean he needs to hold forward. Oh, but the auto-correct! Oh, my goodness. Good night! That was out of nowhere. Absolutely incredibly favorable trade for Smur. Okay, right. answering back, but down one of these things star. is not like the other. That's going to be really hard to come back from. And Smurk's still going. He's got so much pressure right now. Brandon is just struggling to find the answers, finding that shield, like the counter action. All right, 61%. If Brandon's able to find maybe a shield break here, he could very easily take this stock early. Okay, focus attack. I thought like that bait from Wandon, but Smirk is not falling for it. Remembering that they have access to the focus attacks. Nice show oh. you, but unfortunately he's not playing Ken. Good focus and attack. And there we go. There it is. Stocks even, percents might as well be. Yeah, in this matchup, ooh, ooh because of things like that. It can turn around out of nowhere. Ryu also has that ability. Let's see if he can do something with it or if Smirk can continue to push this advantage. There's the heavy auto Ken, but it's gonna get hit with the back air, I think, and that's gonna be game number one. Smirk going up 1-0 over Gwen. I feel like Smirk just did such a good job of zone breaking in that game. Brandon couldn't keep him out. Very much so. And when Buenon was trying to get in, Smirk was uh, inverting the situation, doing a very good job of anti-airing and snuffing out those approaches. I imagine Buenon will want to, oh, Mr. I was expecting a larger stage, but actually opted for small battlefield. Might be seen, oh, okay, we're going right back in with the, uh, the Shoto Bros here. Interesting. I guess he feels like he can win that boxing game. Very well, very well maybe. I'm ready. <laughs> Two, one, All right, go. we got the uh, Picto Chat theme going on here. Shokinets is so powerful. Well, I miss the brawl days with the Picto Chat, and you just you had no idea what was gonna come up on those things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shout out to the Nintendo DS. Good times. You ever have been like a bus ride where all your friends were on their DSs playing Picto Chat? Camping trips for us usually, but when and taking that first stock with a very solid uh, sure you can there. And the percentage keeps climbing. The stage is working out very well for Brandon so Yeah, far. talk about a turnaround. Smirk now completely on the back foot. I feel like Brandon is kind of holding in and getting away with it. Okay, good patience though. Again, trying to find that center stage, but as soon as he slows down, Smirk is finding the answers he was looking for. 
Ooh. Ooh, and on the platform, that is going to be that stock. But 103%, very risky situation to be sitting in. Shoto's kill you for the smallest mistake. I like that up air just then, but very good use of the focus attack to snuff it out. Good patience from both players. I do feel like Smirk is spending a lot of time in the corner in neutral. However, right now it sort of worked out because he was able to get out of it. Oh, that's not safe, but the air dodge. Oh my goodness. However, Donkey Kick closes it out for Brandon. And now Smirk answering right back. And we are suddenly on an even game after that tremendous start from Brandon. Talk about a comeback. How perfectly anime for these two very uh, animatic characters. Oh, you're gonna get so much hate from the FGC community for that. <laughs> it is not an anime there fighter. Has, there has literally been a Street Fighter anime. I think two of them. Oh yeah, Street Fighter Victory, was it? I think so, With yeah. one of them. I remember watching a, a compilation from one of the animes of just funny moments. That thing was, that show was whack. Really nice Shokunetsu, rising Shokunetsu to stop the uh, aerial approach from Smirk. Oh, this could be oh, very oh, bad. Reset, for reset! There it is. It just takes one mistake. Yep. Wayne looking a little bit frustrated there, understandably so, as that yep. was uh, his game to win, but unfortunately for him, Smirk just uh, clapping back with some very nice, guaranteed Shoryu combos. Yeah, Boyendon honestly played that game very well 90% of the time. It was just that 10%. Those openings I kept mentioning, yep. you just need one mistake. And Smirk is so good at capitalizing on those and reading Boyendon's defensive options. Meanwhile, was able to mix up Boyendon enough that he wasn't able to do the same back. Oh, quick pow. First four seconds to 55%. He needs it. <laughs> he needs it. <laughs> Yeah, I guess Ken does need it these days. I think he's fallen out of favor quite a bit, hasn't he? Yeah, they're trying to make up for uh, the whole Street Fighter fiasco. He's way <laughs> too good in that game, so he needs to be a little more grounded. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice call out. Here from Smurf. Using that move the way Sakurai intended it. Calling out the jumps. My man may not be Guile, but you still don't want to jump in against him. However, Blandon with the corner pressure. Tries to go for the down air to get the spike, but not going to take it. Really needs to find an early stock here before this gets out of control. Momentum very much in Smirk's favor this time. Smirk able to just kind of play FGC style footsies and stay away. I feel like Blandon needs to expand on that footsie game plan. Blandon definitely did not mean to go for a, a Hadouken in the air there. Still alive. 137 though, that Hadouken, it's just, it's not what he needs right now. The damage is not the issue. He needs the kill confirm. And that's something that Smirk has been finding that Brandon's struggling with. Okay, that's, that's not safe. Okay, Shoryu's out of shield. Does the, the full super version for the Shoryu and takes that stock. But 97%, if he gets touched by a down tilt here, he's dying. Oh yeah, 100%. However, the same can be said both ways. These characters are both so explosive. We've mostly seen Smirk able to climb alive, but oh, beating him out. Blandon on potentially his last stock of winner's side. Just as I said, that uh, down tilt, the moment it connected, even through that nice super armor that you get off of the focus attack, the stock was gone. Okay. Oh, double clank. Oh, triple clank. <laughs> Okay, very nice. You see the giggle from Smirk? Yeah, Smirk <laughs> laughing it off. That was a pretty funny moment. Okay, very doable for Blandon here. 68% is livable. This is Blandon's opportunity if he ever had one. It's going to be a mountain to climb, but he can do it. Meanwhile, Smirk forcing him into the corner. Got to worry about that auto turnaround, but Blandon gets past. Oh, is that there it? it? Yes, is. it is. He does not miss those. <laughs> very nice, very nice recovery there on the almost fist bump too. Yeah, Shout outs to both players. I see what I call my man Smirk. He is smiling right now. <laughs> what a fun matchup that was. Honestly, yeah, like you don't get to see enough FGC versus FGC in this game. Agreed. It, it's such a fun 